Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds expansion. We're just leaving the Great Catch. And going by that sound, I think Lola is already at the den. Lola, that was her name, the, the name of the girl I, I totally forgot in the previous episode. So uh, we need to head inside of the, uh, well, the, the area we just unflooded. The din, I think she called it. And uh, let's see what's over there. What is this? Whoop. Emissions Joyride from Laura. That's one of the, the dam personnel. One of the two women that was working at the dam. Uh, I'm not going to read it because uh, I do want to get this going as fast as I can. So let's go to the overflow basin. I'll see you guys in a second. So I hear loud clunking noises inside of the basin so i'm guessing she's already working on something looks like there's indeed some sort of underground bunker over there what is that little hill enter the overflow basin let's go probably should jump out of yeah over there and then drop to the ledge there we go before i kill myself again Going even more, even deeper. Hello? There's another audio diary over there. Final performance. Live from the illustrious Overflow Basin Studios, it's Concrete Beach Party! A one, a two, a one, two, three, four! Okay then. Keeps going, holy hell. Is it over? <laughs> well, that was something. Uh, I think there was a Text log attack, uh, attached, although we didn't really get one. So let's let's keep it at that. That was interesting. So that was the two women that were working at the dam. And really, really liked each other. Uh, so let's go inside. It's another diary over here. Last girls on earth. That was the 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 song they made. Dear nobody, the auto cars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to the Verti port. She brought her luggage with her to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom, she said. She bought me this outfit, I f if you can believe it. Normally like, who cares, but I don't know. She's really dealing with a lot. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today, listened to all of these tapes, read all these messages, and maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook will never lose touch things. But I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other. We chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks in bad suits or obsequious robots are going to tear us apart. So listen, on the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble onto these things, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party, and for a second it was the best band in the world. And you, whoever you are, are really really lucky because you're the only person who ever got to hear them. 
See you never the lost girls on earth. Again, this is a really cool side story. I really like it. Is she trying to play the music she's heard? Find the source of the sound. I think she is, right? No lie, I think she's, she's actually trying to mimic the, the band we've just heard. This is so awesome, because you wouldn't realize what is going on if you didn't re read the, the data points. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please. Take this as a token of our gratitude. For Laura and Leslie, indeed. So that's actually the end of Waterlogged. If I realized that, I might have just ended it in the previous episode. But yeah, no biggie, I suppose. She's actually living here as well. But it's one hell of a racket. Um, when, when does happen if we greet her? Let's see. What shall I play next? The echoes are different off Whetstone. The sound is warmer. Okay, so that's the end of that, but I think I'm going to return to Song's Edge and see what happens if we talk to Gildan over there, because he, oh, there we go, drink the flood, because he wanted to tell our story, and I'm wondering if they actually put that into the game, so see you guys in a second. I'm back at Song's Edge, but I don't really know where to find um, Gildan, which is interesting. Inetut is over here, but Gildan I can't really find, so I'm guessing... I don't think he'll be here then. Or maybe he is, just let me know in the comments if you know where he is. But otherwise, yeah, I don't really know where to find him now. Because I would think he's a... Uh, he would be here talking out loud, but I can't really find him. So, we're gonna continue with the quest with those three hunters who are working for Bergrind and uh, help them out a bit. So, uh, let's head over there and see you guys in a second. So, this is where we need to find them next. Holy hell, this place looks awesome. Oh god. Where are they? This is a cool building. Oh god. Oh, they're geysers. Geysers? Shit, I need to head towards the... the opposite side. This is a cool area though. There's a few very big buildings around here. So let's just run around. They're probably on that hilltop over there. Just outside of the range of the tower here. Yeah, there they are. So let's talk to them. See what they want to do next. There's the herd. Everyone ready? <laughs> are you joking? We were born ready. Let's go get them, Flaming Skulls! Nope, that's awful. It is a pretty bad name. Good effort to work, I. Forget it. Let's just go kill something. Uh, I think we're gonna have to kill the tower first. Yeah, my mount is really suffering over there. Let's make a few more power shots, arrows. There we go, taking down the, the scrapper and the stalker. Boom!
Come on, buddy. There goes the gun. And then critical. There we go. And then there's a single watcher over there. Making progress. So let's loot the place. And uh, see you guys in a second. Stalker Sinew. Sinew. That's what we were here for, apparently. So that means I just need to talk to uh, Urkai again. Component? Yep, we did. Another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgrind. Starting to feel real, you know. I'm starting to believe we're really going to get out of here. Honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nikoni. But here we are. Who's Nikoni? Nikoni... Nikoni was... She was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... Of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're gonna tell this story, tell it true. She was murdered. Okay. Is this why you left Benor? Because of this business with Nikoni and your chieftain? Onika knew Nikoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. Okay then. Why challenge the chieftain? Well, probably because of the same reason we did. Why do you challenge the chieftain? Why? Only Cup wrapped himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you were willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werex split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Oniku's feet, and the rest of us, waiting for things to get better. Until Nukoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. Okay, then and what happened to her exactly? What happened? How did you lose Nukoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Oniku, damn him! He wasn't nearly the hunter Nukoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Oniku. Grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nukoni? We tracked Nukoni through the woods, found her not far from the trailhead. With her damn neck snapped. I don't want to remember her like that. But sometimes that memory, it's all I can think of. I'm sorry to tie. It sounds like she meant a lot to you. To all of you. Yeah, we're really sorry. I'm sorry. For what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Aloy. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonoir is buried in Bonoir. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, the right? Burning turkeys. Oh, the burning turkeys, seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit. So where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap mall fang. We'll meet you there. Okay. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along. Okay, so that means that if we go there directly, they might not be there just yet. So let's head over there and I'll see get see you guys in a second. So there we go, campfire just discovered. Just quick save. And they must be here. There we go. I was starting to worry about you three. Everything all right? We took our time. After our last conversation, we had a lot to think about. I can imagine. Just one more hunt, then your debt is paid and you three can make your way south. Ready? Huntress, the sunshine snowshoes await your signal. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible! I'm almost impressed, Dulamok. Didn't think you could come up with a name worse than burning turkeys. Well, I liked it. Let's hunt. Yeah, let's hunt indeed. So there's another tower there. All the way ah, over there. So it's gonna make a few more arrows of the kinds that I'll probably need. And then since it's very far away, let's just do this. There we go. Get out of this. 
Then let's do a triple fire arrow onto the snap over there. And take out a few of the lesser ones with the ice rail. I think I'm gonna go with a uh, triple. And then. Uh, and there we go. I think I can critical hit it now. There we go. Boom! Taking out the minor ones over here. There we go, mid a takedown. That was a nice damage core. And then fire arrows for the snap mall. We've got oh, I fell in the water. Fell in the water. That's not good. Fell in the water. Oh, he's gonna explode. There we go. He's just, he's just waiting for it now. There's a snap mall. Let's get what we need from it. Oh, there's another one over there. Fire out in the face. Holy shit. Just taking out parts of it. And I think... Yeah, there we go. It's gonna explode. Come on, hard point arrows. And one more time. Ah, uh, it's going down. There we go. Goodbye. Hit it in the face. Oh, is there another tower over there? That is interesting. I'm just gonna be too late. Yeah, okay. So let's make it... Let's... Weapons at the ready. And there's another one. Okay. I just kind of underestimated this area. There we go. Is that it now, or are there more snap malls around here? Oh, I killed fish. I killed a lot of fish by uh, letting the water explode. Let's see, there must be something else here then. Aside from, well, you know, a lot of fish. Oh, there it is. Let's just set it on fire, and then... Ice rail in the face. It's really going to town. It has this kind of sack underneath it. There we go. So it's frozen, that means that I can just fire away with it with normal arrows. There we go. Oh no! Somebody blew you up! <laughs> uh... Anyway, let's have a proper goodbye, huh? 
Yeah, indeed. So that's Dr. Tulamok. There. That's the last of Bergren's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Who knows? Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nakoni wanted to hunt. Nakoni had big dreams. A werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. And a fitting tribute to Nakoni. We can become the werak she always wished for. Okay, then. You won't have me to strip your kills now. Are you three gonna be all right? Eh, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. <sighs> Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's <laughs> Edge, talk to Burgrind. If he can't teach you himself, he'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. You're welcome. So, uh, good luck, you guys. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting Banuk lands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. That's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? That's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? Well, three idiots who are gonna have to uh, make up who's gonna, well, procreate with the woman, but um, what, you fight for, you I suppose? You do more than just survive. You believe in something, and you're willing to fight for it. Nukoni was willing to die for it. I like that. Nukoni dreamt of a Werak without shamans or chieftains, and we might be that dream. Nukoni's arrows. That's what we are. Shot from her bow in the north to hit her target in the south. I know I'm not part of the Werak, but that's the best suggestion I've heard since I met you three. Yeah, indeed. By far. Yes. Nukoni's arrows. We will try to fly true. Thank you, Huntress. Again, you're welcome. Goodbye, guys. So, Scorcher Claw removed, Stalker Sinew removed, and Snap Maw Fang removed. Uh, I'm gonna return to Burgund in a second, but I'm just gonna do a bit of inventory management. So, see you guys in a second. So, back at Song Zatch, we're gonna have a little chat with Burgund to finish things off. And, uh, yeah, let's see what he has to say about everything. All will be well. Burgund, how'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely. Thanks very much. You know those three crazy Manuka calling themselves New Coney's Arrows now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger, a pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. Thank you, Bergrind. And that is that, the Hunter's Tree completed. And we got the three more blue gleam out of that as well. So, with that done, we're pretty much through every side quest I have available right now. I might have missed the one or two i don't know about that that there might something still be something on the map but if that is not the case then we're gonna well end this series next time with an episode where i'll take out the remaining fire claws and the remaining control towers so uh look forward to that if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on youtube and thanks enormously for watching see you guys next time goodbye